Coming at you from the year 2050, it's Planet Protecting with Potato! Hello, and welcome to the show. Today's Planet Positive News is about the nest we call home. Let's time twist back to present day, where our Planet Protecting correspondent, Ella, asks the question, how can we make our homes more eco-friendly? Thanks, Potato. Ella reporting from present day, where I'm discovering how living in a small space is a big step forward for the planet. Check out this home sweet home. Sweet. Welcome to Vancouver, British Columbia, where we had the chance to visit a tiny home that not only looks great, but also reduces energy use. Let's check it out. This cute door opens out to save space inside. These hidden areas store a lot. <sighs> I love natural light. As you can see, this tiny house is made up of a lot of recycled, reused materials. Like this chandelier. It's made from a tree branch. And these sidings were salvaged. Same as the window, nothing wasted. Look at these cute turtle knobs that have been reclaimed. And check out this composting toilet. The foot pedal is like a conveyor belt. It sends the waste to an outdoor bin. And rainwater is collected in a barrel outside which is used to water a garden filled with fresh veggies. What a home sweet home. Smaller living spaces means fewer resources, less waste, and less energy. And that's a win-win for the planet. Also, tiny spaces are super cozy. So, let's talk about the stuff in our homes. If we're going to live a simpler life, I think we could all declutter a little bit. Let's hear what activist and adventurer Robin Greenfield has to say about that. Let's talk about stuff. Do you have any ideas on how a kid can declutter the stuff in their room? If you want to declutter your place, look through your closets and look under your bed and look at the things that you look at and you're like, I haven't even used this for six months or a year. Ask yourself, does this item bring me a lot of joy or not really at all? Get rid of those things that you don't have a strong emotional attachment. Find a better home for them to somebody who will actually use them. That way you can actually share that joy with other people. I grew up wanting a lot of stuff because as a kid, I thought stuff would buy me friends and I thought stuff would buy me happiness. And so most of the stuff that I had, it was really about trying to impress people and trying to be loved. And I learned that almost everything I was doing was causing destruction to the earth and to our plant and animal friends. And I decided I was gonna live in a different way. If I could go back and tell myself just one thing Thing, it's that you are complete. You are a part of the earth. And to spend more time just connecting with the earth and connecting with my friends and connecting with my community because we have everything we need without needing to buy more stuff. Instead of buying new stuff, Robin gave me a great idea on how I can trade in what I don't use anymore. It's time for Potatoes Planet Protecting Playbook. First thing, I sort through all my clothes and take out things that don't fit me anymore. That's a good amount to bring. Off to the reuse center, also called a thrift shop in some areas. Once I drop off what I want to donate, the thrifting begins. Thank you very much. There are so many fun things to be found at the reuse center. Trading and choosing secondhand clothes instead of buying brand new not only reduces waste, but it's also super fun. Some of my favorite clothes have come from thrifting, like this coat. I'm sure this will get a lot of use. And hey, if you can't get to a thrift store, maybe throw a clothing swap party with friends. You can share a treasure, find a treasure. Like llama pajamas. <laughs> Sharing is caring, and that's one way to be an awesome planet protector. Thanks, Ella, and thanks to all you planet protectors out there. Together, we make the future. Until next time, stay planet positive!